My name is Jack Dersarkisian. I'm a family doc. So when people come to me um, as a family doc for physical exam, they want to make sure that they're healthy. One of the things I do sometimes is I ask patients to bring a friend with them to the office visit or to bring a family member that they trust and have a healthy relationship. I think going and seeing a doctor could be a highly emotional experience, especially when you're not feeling well. So the first thing we do is we do a general session of what is a good diet and how much should you eat? And then more importantly, when should you eat? And so we recommend people to start their day with a very good breakfast, have a good sized lunch, and probably have a small dinner, something small toward the end of the day. And to generally avoid what I call liquid candy, which would be soda pop and even large amounts of fruit juice. That's a lot of sugar that the body can't handle. The second category that we tend to talk about is physical activity. And it's surprising to me how many patients tell me that they just do not move at all, that their job is typically at a desk, that they get up in the morning, they will drive to work, then they will sit at a desk all day, then they'll drive back and then spend the rest of the night watching TV. And what I try to get people to do is initially just move, to walk. Just the simple act of movement uh, has been shown to be very beneficial, both mentally and physically. The third thing is sleep. We know that a lot of patients just do not sleep very much. And the average patient nowadays sleeps about six hours a day. We know that by science that probably our bodies need seven to eight hours a day. When we don't get enough sleep, it has a domino effect on all our health systems. Rates of diabetes, high blood pressure, depression, all go up with people who do not get good sleep. Uh, the fourth thing is usually something that is sometimes uncomfortable to talk to with patients, and that is how much do they drink alcohol? Do they smoke? Do they use any recreational drugs? Or even a, an occasional uh, smoke, occasional use of recreational drugs, those do take a toll. One of the things which actually makes me happy to talk to are how important social interactions in our lives are. And I'm very clear that they have to be healthy. Social interactions that we have with our friends, with our colleagues. So I think if you can tackle those issues and do what I call an inventory, what you're eating, what you're drinking, how active you are in your life, if you're moving at all, if you are refraining from smoking, recreational drugs, excessive drinking, if you're sleeping well, and also if your social interactions are healthy in your life, those will be a good road for healthy living.